Jakob. What's it look like? Uh, exactly as we left it. You have something in common. Get that oil pump, will you? Okay, got the pump from the truck. Good. Now, hurry back. This meathead Kang hasn't stopped giving me the side eye. Till they push back, then loosen a little. We, you forget everything I taught you. Taught me? You think you taught me anything, old man? Unbelievable. <laughs> Feisty. She definitely got her temper from you. Looks like we're taking a break. I guess you've earned the right to hear the full story. So, uh, a long time ago, before this shitty planet, before we even left Earth, I was flying workers to the Caravel Orbit Station. Uh, the flames started to surround me, and I tried to find an exit. And that's when I tripped, and I saw this damn pregnant woman lying under the rubble. I was able to save both of us. Well, Sri, hold on. You were there during the Caravel disaster? All the survivors of the Caravel were given a free ticket aboard the brand new Flores, and I met her again. <laughs> right here, in Trenchtown. Her child was born. It was a girl, and she named her Chana. And that little brand was only six when she saw her mother killed right in front of her. So you raised her. Go on. The truck isn't going to fix itself. Hey, Jakob. That was a sweet story back there, but it still doesn't explain why Chana hates your guts. Why do you think? I didn't have to be a father in a shithole like this. You know what the survival I rate is for kids? Man. But, turned out I was wrong. Little girl managed to grow up after all. Who knows? Maybe you did her a favor. If you hadn't been such a bastard, she wouldn't have gotten tough enough to survive. Yeah, you go and tell her that.
Here to see Mercer's debt paid. <laughs> My agreement was with Mercer. Little man got cold feet. I lose, he pays you double. You think your luck is that good? <laughs> Be my guest. Uh. Whoo! Fucking mess. You'll be fine.